Tom is our much loved, long awaited eldest child of two. Typical boy, loves to play in the woods, saying he loves to be outside. So Tom was slow to crawl. He didn't crawl till he was about a year old and started walking when he was 18 months. The thing, however, that kept me concerned is I used to take him to toddler groups and at toddler groups they have these little bouncy trampolines where the children can hold on. Holding on, so supporting his arms, he couldn't take his weight and bounce at 18 months. He still couldn't do that at two. He still couldn't do that at two and a half. By the age of three, his walking was reasonable, but he'd still fall quite a lot. And from there on, I thought we needed to get him seen just to check that everything was okay. So we went to see the paediatrician and I thought we'd be here a few minutes and we ended up staying there for an hour. It was the first person who'd done a full neurological assessment and he tested his reflexes, he tested you know, the strength of his muscles and a couple of times he said to him, I want you to lie down on the floor and get up as quickly as you can. And I now know that that's the Gowers manoeuvre and children with Duchenne struggle to do this. The next day, it must have been about nine o'clock, and he said the blood tests have shown some very high chemical levels which indicate he has a type of condition called muscular dystrophy. Um, and I said, so what are we talking about here? And he said, I have to say, on the basis of this blood test, I think he's got the severe form. And I said, so what does that mean? What treatments can we give him? Can we start treatment straight away? And he said, unfortunately, there are no treatments for this condition. And I said, so tell me he's not going to die. And he said, well, it is a 100% fatal condition. And at that point, my world fell apart. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a devastating genetic condition that primarily affects the skeletal muscle. It shows progressive muscle weakness and wasting and unfortunately is always fatal. He's now getting tireder, um, he's getting colder. As the muscles turn to scar tissue, they lose some of their thermal ability. So of course he's plateaued now, whereas his peers at school and certainly his sister, they keep acquiring skills. Seven-year-old boys run faster every day. So when you want to play, you want to uh, you know, be active, uh, you start to explore football and things that are fun for boys. This is when you realize that I'm not as good and strong as my friends, you know, I am not able to compete as much. His little sister was walking at 10 months, she's a physical little girl, and I think that actually has been the most challenging thing for him, seeing a sibling, particularly a younger sister, equal him in ability and then quickly surpass him, he finds that really, really challenging. I think the, the really terrible aspect about Duchenne muscular dystrophy is that it is you know, a slowly progressive disease. There's currently no cure. You will die at a time when life normally gets very exciting. At what point do I tell my son that one day he'll fall on the floor and probably be unable to get up? At what point do I tell him that he's going to end up in a wheelchair? At what point do I tell him that he will not marry his little girlfriend at school because he probably won't be around then? And with the diagnosis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, this entire concept that we have of life all of a sudden completely disappears and dissociates. And what you see is, my son will sit in a wheelchair, my son will die before me. And so I think this is the, 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 the first shocking moment, getting this diagnosis. Our life has changed beyond all recognition really, so we decided we'd sell our house. Immediately was apparent that if we wanted to do the best for Tom, we'd have to widen doorways, we'd have to um, strengthen roof joists to put hoists in, all the adaptations are taking place. The research that Action Medical Research is funding, to me, is everything. For the first time, I truly believe ever, we're, we're at a breakthrough time with this condition. Treatments for rare diseases could potentially also have a use for more common diseases. This condition is the number one genetic killer of children. It's 100% fatal. If we could just have something that could slow it down, slow its progression, so children can walk for a little bit longer, they can hug their parents for a little bit longer, that means everything. So supporting action medical research and providing funds for rare disease research, like for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, also means that you are providing hope to patients with these terrible diseases. I want my son to have a shot at life like anybody else, but he's only going to get that with a treatment that will help him. 
that's why it's so important that the research continues. We're nearly there, it's tantalisingly close. We really have an opportunity to save little boys here. Mm -hmm.